In 1190, during the Crusades of the Holy Lands, a group of German knights created an organization called the Teutonic Order. Despite enjoying the plunders of war and conquest, the ultimate ambition of the Order was to create its own state. After a failed attempt in Hungary, which resulted in their exile in 1225, the Knights made yet another attempt in Prussian and Polish lands in 1228. Their official assignment was to Christianize the pagans living in there. To do so, the Knights led a cruel and devastating religious war. Those who resisted were murdered and their families forced into slavery. This was all done with the willing consent and knowledge of the Pope and the Emperor himself. At the age of 15, I became a victim of the Order's quest for a sovereign nation. I was taken away and sent to Magdeburg, where I was forced to convert and publicly baptize for the sake of their propaganda. Over the following years, I took lessons in Latin, German, and in the art of warfare. I became acquainted with the rules of the Order and was brought up as a follower of Catholicism and a devotee to God. During training, it became clear I had a talent for battle, though this talent would soon become my curse. The knights, having noticed my prowess for combat, ordered me to conquer all of Prussia. Madness, I thought. Yet as a Prussian nobleman, I knew the language of the people, and already had their trust. But at the time, I didn't know the knights would eventually ask me to betray my kinsmen. My journey began when I was called to meet the eminent knight brother Konrad von Tierberg. He had sought me out for my guidance in order to resolve conflict with one of their more stubborn Prussian tribes. My tribe. My own. Garvis, the last time I was here, I was 15 years old. A lot has changed, and hopefully for the better. You there, peasant, come here. Helkus? My brother! So, the rumors are true. We thought you were long dead. Burka, I didn't recognize you. <laughs> well... God decided I would be more useful alive than dead. Will you accompany me to Pogarvis? But of course! I see you come armed. Should a monk wear a sword on his belt? Is the word of God not enough? The sword comes in handy sometimes. Not everything can be solved with words. Help! Help! See, brother? Now is a time when a sword comes in handy. Let's go! Thank you, my lord. You have saved us and all our belongings. May God's blessing be upon you. What brings you to Percarvis? I doubt it's a family matter. Rumors say the Order's nearby camp was attacked. I've been sent to investigate. Talk to Krauper, our village elder. He knows everything that happens in the area. He will help you. I cannot let you pass. There are too many bandits nearby. We will have to find another way in. I don't have time for this. We will deal with them ourselves. Come with me. Not bad. Where did you learn to fight like that? In Magdeburg, under the watchful eye of my knight brothers. Ha! <laughs> if I knew the Order could turn me into such a warrior, I would have let myself be taken prisoner. The bandit shouldn't be a problem anymore. Open the gate! Thank you for the company, Herkus. I'll head back home. If you have time, do come and visit. Good lord, above I'll be dead! Hercus! Is that really you? Go, Schneller! Good to see you too, Kraupa. 
I require your counsel. Word has reached me that the Order's camp was attacked. Is this true? It is true, yes, but we haven't seen any survivors. The camp is on the southern side of the Dark Forest. Bandits roam freely beyond the gates, attacking us incessantly. They even seized one of our nearby mines. <laughs> could you help a fellow Slav, Herkus? We'd be indebted to you if you could recapture our mine. Brother Conrad, the camp was destroyed, but all the bandits are dead. A pity. We could have interrogated them for information. <laughs> no matter. We're headed to Pakavis. An important meeting is underway there. For the security of everyone, we've taken control of this village. Are they waiting for us? Yes, my lord. As you ordered, the village leaders are awaiting your arrival. Let's not delay them any longer. Are they all gathered at the inn? Yes, sir. They are. Please come in. They're getting impatient. That won't be necessary. Lock the doors and burn the inn. Brother Conrad, what are you doing? Silence, Herkus! You haven't a clue what's going on here. Hey! They are running! So what are you waiting for? Kill them! Prove you are truly our brother! We will end these pagans' lives! and send their depraved fate back to hell. By our hand, the Lord will smite these godless sinners, and we shall reap the reward of God's will. This is not over. The people of Pakavis will suffer for their sins. Though they are servants of God, they took these pagans as their neighbors. And such They're sins will be paid for. Brother Conrad, what have you done? My friends, my family, everyone, they're all dead. And all in the name of God? I swear upon the gods of old and those of my ancestors that you will pay for this. I curse you to the end of time. You will rue the day that you betrayed me, Conrad. Ha! So you show your true colors, Hermes. Such a shame you're not a true Christian. You never could be our brother. Take him and lock him in the dungeons. Not this time, you bastard. You'll have to wait. We will meet again. For the first time, I saw the cruelty of the Order with my own eyes. I confused how the Pope could be so silent towards their crimes. Then I realized, it wasn't a matter of faith or belief, but of privilege and power. With my realization came the will to break my shackles. I cast off my knight's mantle and renounced the faith forced upon me. Soon I stood with my tribesmen side by side against the knights. The years spent fighting alongside the Knight Brothers taught me all of their techniques and strategies. I was acquainted with their tactics, and I knew how to use their weaknesses against them. In 1263, on the fields of Lubava, 
we were about to strike at the order with all our strength. Meister Hammerish, Herkules' bandits are attacking and plundering our villages. How far away are they? Too close for comfort. They are headed in this direction with a large army. Prepare for their attack. Conrad, you will command the left wing. Brother Conrad, what a pleasure. I have to tell the others. The Pope needs to know what happened. Fortunately, the stables are still standing. I'll need to find a horse if I want to get out of here. They destroyed the whole city. So many brothers died. Yes, this one's perfect. Now to find a horse. What rent? Ready. Good horse. Now take me away from here. Move! Move! On the move. Yes, go to the order. Tell the others what happened here. Your end is coming. We thought cutting off the head of the Order would destroy them for good. But after Helmerich von Rechenberg's death, the Order pulled all its diplomatic strings. Having convinced the Pope to allow the Order to accept lowlifes and criminals amongst their ranks, the brothers began drafting bandits from all around Europe, offering absolution and, more importantly, gold. Unaware of the impending danger, we decided to split our forces, focusing on strategic points crucial to the Order. Link, the leader of the Bart and Pogazan tribes, targeted Christberg, the mightiest of the Order's strongholds. But by then, my kinsmen were not aware that all of Europe, united by faith and gold, had decided to stand against them. God, looks like we're too late. The whole town is destroyed. Yes, but look, our flags still fly on the castle wall. Meister, God has heard our prayers. You have arrived. The town was destroyed, but we managed to defend the castle. Unholy scum! These godless pagans were plundering our graves. Their souls will pay for this in hell. I'm taking over command here. Our first goal is to drive these filthy rebels out of town. It would be wise to get that northern village back first. We will need its resources. Sir, is it true only you survived the massacre at Lubava? Yeah! God wanted me to be a witness of that massacre. God works in mysterious ways. <laughs> The streets are now clear of that filth. God is with us, brothers. Now let's rebuild and reinforce ourselves. We have to rebuild the church, stables and houses to get this town up and running again. Listen, 
The rebels will surely try to retake the town. We have to hold here until Allied reinforcements arrive. Meister, there are three villages to the west and south. We can recapture them to gather resources. Brothers, our allies are here. They're setting up their camp to the west. Wunderbar. Now with their help, we can kill this rebel scum. God is meet uns. These rebels got what they deserve. This victory will stop their advance. Now it's time for us to show them the true power of the Order. The Teutonic Order was victorious. However, the support of the Pope came with a catch. After our defeat, the Knights were ordered to begin a crusade against the Prussian tribes. We fought the Knights in a war of attrition. Yet as we cut off one head, three others seemed to take its place. Exhausted and with our ranks broken, we hid in the forests, planning our next offensive. But the Knights of the Order struck first. Learning from our strategies, they attacked us with all their forces in the very place we least expected them. Hercus is in the area. I saw him with my own eyes. Now, you can finally kill him. Brother Conrad wants him alive. What? That's impossible. That bastard is too closely guarded, and even if he wasn't, he's too dangerous for us on his own. He is wounded, tired, and doesn't expect us. This'll be easy. Fine, do what you want. I'm out of here. Just give me the gold you promised. Have you seen how much equipment they've brought on their caravan? Incredible! And it's all headed to Harkus's camp. Enemy spotted! There they are! And there's the crates from the caravan full of equipment! Look there! Herkis' camp is not far now! But we'll never make it across the bridge unnoticed. Stop! What are you carrying? Peasants. Ordinary supplies. Nothing special. Don't fuck with me, fool. Surely you have some good wine in there, eh? But of course, we could find something for the honorable gentleman. Give me that and fuck off, stupid peasant. The Teutonic Knights are idiots. All you have to do is put on a Teutonic outfit, and then they'll recognize you as a friend. <laughs> I was with Helkus himself, and I saw how he cheated them. They saw us and shouted, Where is Da? And Helkus just said, Ruined. <laughs> he left the bushes, walked out, and killed them. <laughs> Bet they didn't see that coming. <laughs> I'll have to try that myself. Okay, we're close. Let's focus. Grab him and bind him. Gag his mouth. Don't let him speak. Listen, you fuck. You will come with us politely. If you try to do something clever, you die. Understand? Now get up. Let's go. Eyes on the enemy. They sounded the alarm. That was sooner than expected. Quickly to the boat. I wonder why Conrad wants you alive. He probably wants to show our brothers what happened to servants of the devil. We cannot engage the enemy. 
I guess we'll most certainly escape in the chaos. <laughs> Yes, you got him! Brothers, we will celebrate tonight! I can't believe we actually succeeded! This proves it was God's plan, after all! I, Hercus Monte, leader of the Prussian Uprising, admit that I was wrong. I do not doubt that I once held Prussia's very future in my hands. I underestimated our enemy and failed in the final test. Rotting in the Order's cell, I could do nothing to prevent the outcome of the final battle. I knew my tribesmen would never hand over their weapons without a fight, but we could not stop the unrelenting march of the knights as they captured every city, every gourd, and every inch of our lands. Their final destination was Litzbark, home of the largest standing Prussian military force still fighting in the uprising. But not for long. As soon as the Order defeats them, the insurrection is over. This isn't just a fight between the Order and the Pagans. This is a battle between good and evil. Our allies have set their camp on the other side of the lake. They're good. They will need our help. The eyes of the world are upon us now. We must show them the strength of the Order. Our food supplies were destroyed by the rebels. Nevertheless, there should be plenty of food to loot from the villages on the marshes. I was told my fellow tribesmen of Litzbark fought well. But such things only matter for those who still hold honor in high regard. We were worn down by the Order, unable to regroup and strike back. We flexed our muscles until they were sore, but the Knight's reinforcements were never-ending. The harsh truth is that every unsuccessful revolution brings not only death to its apologists, but to the common people as well. It was no different with the Order. As soon as they established authority over us, they began to displace my fellow Prussians. With our houses burnt, children and women taken as slaves, we lost what was most important to us. Our home. And with my death, dies the testimony of our people. No one will hear me out. No one will lend me their ear. Just as history as written by the victors, the defeated are cast away into the darkness of yesterday.